Hello Balloon World! I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd, and today I want to teach you how to make a one balloon pig. This can be a challenge for a beginner because it has the dreaded tulip twist in it for the snout. But don't worry, I'll walk you through it. My pig is going to be pink, so get your 260 ready. My 260 is pink. Inflate it about one fourth of the way. I know that's not that much air, but don't worry, there's a lot of twists involved. So one fourth of the way will be plenty, trust me. Okay, as you can see, I have a lot of slack there on the end. First thing we're going to do is a tulip twist. To do the tulip twist, what I like to do is I give it a nice squeeze, make it a little soft. Take my finger right on the knot, push that knot inside, find it with my free hand, pull my finger out gently, twist it behind the knot so the knot's on this side. I can feel the knot right there. Then I take that knot and I push it back into the tulip twist. And there we have our pig snout. Now I twist two small bubbles for the back of the pig's head. And now we're going to twist a teddy bear head, which is five bubbles, all about one inch in width. And you want to over twist them because when you pinch twist the ears, they have a tendency to leak air back into the cheek or the top of the head. So I usually count to ten to make sure that they have plenty of twists. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, five bubbles. One, two, three, four, five. Five bubbles. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to twist the part of the five bubbles here into this part of the five bubbles there. So, you should have a loop of the five bubbles you have there with that hole right in the middle. Now that hole gets filled with our snout. Push the snout through the hole. And there we go. Next thing we do is we pinch twist both of the ears on either side. One pinch twist there. One pinch twist there. And then I center the snout there on the bottom. And there you can see one pig head. Okay, now we do the neck. The neck is a small bubble. And now we do the front of the arms. What I like to do is I like to do a forearm area and then like a foot area. So the forearm area is going to be a little bit bigger than an inch and the foot area is going to be like half an inch, a really small bubble. So we do forearm, foot, foot, forearm. So about the size of an inch, half inch, another half inch, another inch. So these two here should be the same size and then these two here should be the same size. Twist here at the bottom of the neck and to here at the end of the leg. And there we have our pig. Now you see I have a little bit of air left and a lot of slack. That's what you're going to want because we're going to need that little bit of slack there at the end and we're not going to double up on the body. You know it's going to be lean bacon. So twist the section for the body. You're going to want it a little bit longer than you're going to think it because when we use this lock to cinch it up, it'll actually become shorter. So make it a little longer, not much, just enough to where when you look at it, you're like, that should be a little shorter, shouldn't it? Just about that long. Okay. Now we do another set of legs like we did in the front. We do one about an inch, one about half an inch, another half inch, and another inch. So there we go. These two should be about the same size and these two should be about the same size. Now we're going to twist this part here into this part here. So we have another grouping of four bubbles. We straighten them up a little bit and you can already see he's starting to look pig-like. Now you can see here I have enough for a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to take that bit of scrap there and I want to stretch it around the legs and then in the same motion stretch it to the front of the neck. Okay. So what that sort of does is the back part bubble there, it pinch twists it. And what that also does is you can see it sort of pulls the under part. So instead of the pig being like this, the legs are nice together and that gives it the illusion that it's fatter than it actually is. And there we have our simple one balloon pig. Now if you wanted to add a curly tail, I would highly recommend using a sharpie marker and drawing it on. 
much easier than trying to curl a big balloon and making it look like it's a monkey or by trying to put a pipe cleaner in an inflated balloon to make a curly towel and having the pipe cleaner accidentally pop through the balloon and pop the inflated part. It's too much trouble. Sharpie, draw a curly towel on there. Draw the eyes and the nose on there. Well, the nose is already sort of on there. You don't need to really do anything for the nose. But there we have a simple one balloon pig. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. And for more balloon instructions, go to balloon-animals.com.